short cycling on a 90% efficient furnace. Let's see. We got one part per million. The venting's all the way on the other side of the house. There's the venting down there. I got nine, eight parts per million by the garage. I'm 15 feet away. There's the venting. Not pinned me. 177. Oh, I pinned it. I just breezed by it. Oh, look at that. 2000. So we got a plug secondary heat exchanger. So let me air this out and see if we got any CO in the house. Okay, hold on. In the house. By the furnace, I got 15 to 17 parts per million. So, yeah, this furnace is done. This is a uh, 398 AEW Bryant from uh, two, uh, actually 1989. Um, and we'll do a heat exchanger inspection on it. Okay, as you can see on that inspection I just did with my camera, that, that secondary heat exchanger is rusted through. It's in extremely bad shape. With the furnace off, the fur, my CO meter was spiking up to 165 just sitting on the top of the furnace. Um, this is an older 390 8 AEW 036060 uh, with a serial code of 1589A. It was made the 15th week in 1989. This is common for this furnace to see. Uh, so, I mean, right now. She cannot run this furnace. I had over 2,000 parts per million um, with uh, just an exhaust normal running and right at the corner of the house I had 9 parts per million. Here, furnace everything off, I still have 16 parts per million. I had 10, 12 parts per million upstairs in the living room. So, this furnace is done. Uh, Alright guys, like and subscribe. And uh, this video might come out a little different. I have taken shots with my phone and my rigid camera. So if the video doesn't come out that good, that's why. Alright guys, like and subscribe. Another bad furnace.